Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop Creations tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use this little thing on the bottom of my screen, and it's called a Rocket Dock. Um, it's pretty much a copy off of the Mac Dock. So, if you're a Mac user, you probably already have one of these. But I don't have a Mac, so I really don't know. But this is mainly towards Windows and Vista XP operating systems. All right. So what we want to do to get the Rocket Dock is to go to RocketDock.com. Pretty easy. R O C K E T D O C K dot C O M. It'll be in the description for any people who don't know how to spell. All right. So you're gonna come up with this screen. You're gonna watch this video. Not really. Kind of boring. All right. Go to download. Um, here's just some requirements. You must meet all of them requirements. Gonna go to the latest version. I'm gonna click on that. Hit yes, 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 yes. Download. It will install to your desktop and your program files. I'm running a 64 bit, so it'll run to my program files, uh, the x86. Um, go right here. Go boom. One, two, three. There you go. There's Rocket Doc, and it'll come up with this. Here's the actual application. Um, that'll actually bring up the doc. Um, here's your folders with icons, doclets, defaults, data. We'll get to that a little late, a little bit later. All right. So it'll um, prompt you to come up with a um, desktop icon, a start menu, quick launch, uh, all them different things. I would recommend just doing the desktop shortcut. Um, let me just go to search for it. It'll come up like that. All right, not the two though, and take that off. Uh, you'll just double click it. It'll open up like this, but you'll not be looking like this. Not with all these icons, and not with the icons looking like this, and not the dock, which is that little uh, uh, lowered opacity uh, Mac looking dock ish thing. Anyway, um. What you're going to need to do is right click on the dock where it's not an icon and you don't have an icon highlighted. And you're going to go to dock settings. All right. And there's also going to be a tab that says dock settings. Right? And you can go through the general, what the icons will look like, um, the position, the style, which is the Mac looking thing. And I'll just go through a couple of them right here. What they look like. All right. And that one I'm using the Mac OS X Leopard. Right here's a um, thing of how to use the font. What the font will look like. And you can mess around with all this stuff and the about who it's from. You can update whatever. All right, hit OK when you're done. Let me delete this. Let me delete this. All right, and you won't be having these. Uh, icons. You won't have the icons that you want on there. So what you need to do is take any shortcut on your desktop and drag it onto the dock. Um, I'm going to do iTunes. Drag it right here. And I don't really don't like that iTunes thing. It's kind of bland and boring. So what I did is I went to Rocket oops, RocketDock.com and on the top tab, you can see the download tab. You can see the get add-ons tab, and you can see the help tab. And we're gonna go to the get add-ons. There, you can find icons, skins, docklets, wallpapers, miscellaneous stuff. All right, we're gonna go to icons. Um, you can check out the skins, which is the actual Mac thing that I was telling you about before. What it's going to look like. Um, pretty cool thing. They have the transformer stuff. Um, Docklets is how it opens, kind of, kind of tricky. And wallpapers, really good wallpapers here. I would check them out. All right, we're gonna go to icons, and I already did a search for it earlier, but I put in iTunes, and it'll be the first one. Glossy iTunes icons, and you can search all kinds of things. Like I have the Adobe Pack, um, Adobe, and it'll put all the, uh, you know, um, Photoshop, all kinds of different things. 
Premiere, After Effects, Illustrator, whatever. Um, you search for it. Uh, what was I? iTunes. All right, and you're just gonna click on that. You can look at all the icons by clicking the shortcut icon thing. Come on. Um, now you'll click download file. It will usually be a zip. Uh, you'll unzip it to your desktop. So I just deleted that a little bit earlier. Um, then you're gonna um, put that into drag that actual folder of the PNGs or the ICOs or the ABCs or the LMNOPs or the you know. And you'll go to your R's, you go to Rocket Doc, you'll go to icons, and there's the iTunes icons that I just dragged and drop in there. And we'll click over that. So they're in the actual program files icon folder. So then we're gonna go highlight or just put your mouse or cursor over the actual icon on the dock. We'll right click it. You'll go to icon settings and it'll bring up a box that has all your icons that you have in the icons folder and simply just locate the icon that you want now I'm going to do the blue one and hit OK and there you go it'll be iTunes with your new updated icon um, there's also a couple things you uh, else can do and that's with the skins and docklets and all kinds of stuff like that um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, anything, uh, put that down in the comment bar, comment box down there. Um, please rate five stars. You subscribe. I have a bunch more graphics tutorials coming up in the next uh, couple days. Um, haven't been on as I wanted to, but I'm getting there. Um, also visit Photoshop Creations dot um, webs dot com. I have the uh, .co.nr, I have a uh, .tk, all them shortcuts because I don't have a PayPal account or whatever to uh, pay for an actual domain name. But I um, have been updating the site as of lately. Um, you can actually put on your own photos on there, all that stuff like that. You can put on your own pictures, upload those pictures. Uh, I got a few so far, latest video, and those pictures we'll put on the uh, photos tab. Um, you can also check out the videos I've done so far. And new thing, which is I'm pretty proud of, from BraveNet, I believe it is, BraveNet.com, which is, they got some awesome stuff for free stuff. Uh, you can pay for it, but that's for the pro stuff. But some awesome stuff. Um, cool things on here, some widgets, and they got a login thing over here, pretty cool, you can log in to my uh, extras tab, uh, there you go, you can join the mailing list, see uh, videos that aren't on my YouTube account or on the actual website, and you can visit my message forum, I got a lot of people viewing this, no comments though. But I'll be posting on there a little bit later. Um, sorry about the ads, though. I had to put them on there. Uh, maybe you can click them. See, see what they're all about. But um, that's going to be pretty much it. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, down in the comment uh, box. And that's going to be pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.